Hello folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. Catching a, a cow out in the pasture. I'm just gonna slow her attitude up a little bit. One cc knockout dart. Let's see if I can hit her. So the backdrop is, is my neighbor's bull broke down a big portion of my fence and I had seven pair, seven cows with their calves that got out into a neighbor's pasture. And he doesn't mind, but he's really honky on his cattle. He wide open on his cattle all the time. Nice guy, but just wide open on his cows, so his cows are really wild. So I went out there and, and was able to get six pairs in and this cow took off with the herd and she's just a gentle little girl so I went out and started feeding her a little cake and his cows would take off and so I just decided one day we're gonna go up there and get that cow before it turns into something and I had to get her calf anyways I was selling calves that day so this is a pretty simple way of doing it you just give them a little bit of uh, slow down medicine Back your trailer right up to them and pull them right in. Pretty simple. When they lay down, take a little nap. You put a rope on them, wake them back up, and put them in the trailer. If you have a strong back, this is a great way of doing it. Other than setting up corrals and bringing your horses and or four-wheelers or what have you. Just a typical day on the ranch. I wanted to show you around today. Hope you enjoy. Let us know by hitting that thumbs up button and letting us know in the comments. raised up a whole litter of calves. Dakota is uh, 16, going to be 16 soon. She's taking it very hard. Her little Annie. And Annie is absolutely a doll to Dakota. She's got her train. She can ride that cow. She can do anything. And Got to sell it this year. She just opened. Dakota, Mom, and I Looked at every angle we can. There's just no, no way around it. We're replacing a barbed wire fence here with a rail fence. Rail fences take a lot more abuse. You have to remember that probably the smallest cow on the ranch is about 950 pounds, maybe. The biggest cow on the ranch is probably ew, 1,300 pounds, 1,200 pounds, perhaps. Um, 1,200 pounds is probably the biggest cow. Our bulls could weigh up to a ton pretty easy. And when they get fighting mad, they go through about anything. So a barbed wire fence just isn't the answer here. We want something quite a bit tougher. Now these posts are in the ground about 4 foot 6 inches. So <clears throat> it's out of the ground quite a ways but it's in the ground quite a ways. And that tamping process, I have videos on that too. Um, it's very, very important. This here will give your rail a nice flat spot just instead of wanting to roll off because that's round. And then we went ahead and squared the rail as well. So it's just going to sit on there nice. Two big, uh, what they call pole barn spikes or shank nails. Go through here. Pretty solid. What we have is what they call a shanked nail. And once these are put in, they're almost unpullable, really. You can see I put it in just to hold the post up for a little bit, or the rail rather. And I mean, it tears, it tears uh, wood right out with it. Once these are in, they are in really forever. The problem with a shank nail or a pull barn nail um, is that they are very brittle. And so if you come down on your 
your hammer wrong or if you're not if you're not used to a hammer and you hit this like this or like this that can break off and I'm telling you it will come at you at 100 miles an hour now we have a pretty good healthy space here and uh, I suppose one could say I took off too much but I have my son the dozer I'm gonna have to put his foot right there and watch what happens like that and we are just custom making this each rail two post will get two shanked nails see how it, it's almost like it's welded almost elephant about our giveaway leave comments below that will qualify you for the first and second prize very much like hearing your comments it's very encouraging it's a way to promote our channel and to help us out thanks and happy trails